Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into the world of seamless file sharing with QNAP's QFile app. If you're a QNAP NAS user and you're looking for a quick and easy way to share your data, whether it's precious photos with family, home videos with friends, or important work files with colleagues, then you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process step by step. We'll cover everything from sharing photos and videos with a simple link to setting up specific permissions for file access. All right, let's get sharing. First things first, open the QFile app on your phone. You'll see a list of all the folders on your NAS. Find the folder with the files you want to share. It can be photos, videos, documents, anything saved on the NAS. Tap the three dots on the right side of the folder or file, and then tap Sharing Link. This brings up the Create a Share Link menu. Here is where you can customize your sharing link. See Link Name field? This lets you give your shared link a custom name. Now, you don't have to rename it, but it can be really useful. Instead of a jumble of random characters, you can give it a name that actually describes what you're sharing. Now, tap on Share Link and choose the address you want to share from. If you're sharing locally, select your local IP address. If you're not sure what your local IP is, just select All Available Links. For remote sharing, choose Smart Share. It's the most secure way to share when you're away from home. Want your friends or colleagues to be able to add files to the folder? Just enable Allow File Upload to this folder. If you're sharing via a public IP address or DDNS, I recommend turning on Use SSL for added security. To make sure only the people you want can access your files, enable Set Password. This adds an extra layer of protection. You can also set an expiration date for your shared link. You have a few choices here. If you want it to choose a specific date and time when the link will expire, tap Valid Until. You can then choose the date from the calendar and then the time. Or you can tap Expire In to expire after a certain amount of time. If you want the link to stay active indefinitely, just leave it as Always Valid. Once you've configured all your settings, tap Create. Here's your unique share link. You can share it with anyone you want. Tap the arrow in the top right to bring up your Android share sheet. This gives you a bunch of options for sharing your link, like share directly to other apps or copy to clipboard. Or if you prefer to copy the link and share it yourself, just tap the copy button on the right. This copies the link to your clipboard. You can also tap browser to open the link in your phone's browser. This is exactly what your recipients will see when they open the link. Remember that set password option we talked about? This is where it comes in. If you enabled password protection, your friends or family will see this screen first. It's a simple way to add an extra layer of security to your shared files. They'll just need to enter the password you created. Once they type in the correct password, they have access to all the photos, videos, or documents you wanted to share. They can tap to view the files, and if it's a media file like a photo or video, they can play it right away without downloading. Let's say you've shared a whole folder of vacation photos. Your friends can browse through them and pick and choose their favorites to download individually. Just tap on the download button next to the file. That will download the file to their phone or computer. If you want your recipient to upload to the link, Click on three dots menu on the upper right corner and click on Upload so they can add their own files from their computer or phone. Select the file you want to upload and click Add. When uploading, they'll see a progress bar showing the upload speed and percentage. Now, let's head back to the QFile app on your phone. Remember how we enabled file uploads to this folder? Well, someone just used that feature to add a new file. See? It's right here. QFile automatically updates the folder with any new files that are added so you can always see the latest additions. This makes it super easy to keep track of everything, whether you're the one uploading files or someone else is. To stop sharing the link, just tap the Share option at the bottom of the app, find your shared link, and tap the three dots. You can reshare the link if you've forgotten it. You can also view the details of the shared link or delete the shared link to stop sharing immediately. 
Once you delete the link, no one will be able to access the data anymore. And that's it. Sharing files with QFile is super easy and convenient. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more QNAP tips and tricks.